Hi guys, this is Dale Taldi. Welcome to Thistle Hill Tavern. Really focusing on food that you want to eat every day. That's not too heavy, but also plenty of steaks and chops. Really on trying to capture Americana in a tavern. This is Star Chef Secrets. I like eating all food. I mean, fish, meat, chicken. My girlfriend's a vegan, so if I was gonna eat the same way she was eating, I wanted it to be very flavorful. I wanted to have great texture. I didn't want to eat the same stuff every day. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to make flavorful vegan food that even a meat eater like myself can enjoy. So now we'll be making the Thistle Hill Vegan Burger, which is a northern bean and cracked wheat um, patty. So in the bowl, we just put a little bit of the, uh, the white northern beans that have been cooked and smashed up a little bit. And then we take a little bit of our bulgur wheat so bulgur is basically the wheat grains. They have a real nice hearty mouthfeel to them. It kind of is a substitute for ground beef. Add chopped cooked mushrooms. We use cremini here. Mushrooms have kind of a meaty quality to them. If you're cooking for a vegan, this helps give that sensation of meat. To this, we're also gonna add a little bit of Dijon mustard. Um, it's gonna help bind the patty. Also a little roasted garlic. So a little bit of chopped Italian parsley and some thyme. Salt pepper. And since everything here is really cooked, this is your opportunity to taste your patty to make sure that it's really well seasoned. You're looking for the same consistency of meatloaf. For a meat lover, you're always looking for that, that kind of like crusty outside and that tender inside. If you let it rest and you let it sit out for a little while, it's going to achieve that crust on the outside. You'll see that nice golden brown, crust, crusty, crispy out exterior. And from here, we just give it one more second in the pan and then we go right into the oven with this. And it's just really until the middle of the burger is warm through. Uh, we preheated this oven to about 350 degrees. And if you can get a nice char on the burger bun, or you get a little bitterness from that. And then you, you, know, you dress this up any way you want. Ketchup, mustard, savoriness from the raw onion, crunch from the lettuce, house-made dill pickles. And it really kind of rounds it off and you don't really miss any of the animal products. Salty, sweet, bitter, sour. To me, it really kind of hits every flavor profile in your mouth. And that's our vegan burger. I think what's really important for me is that you are very conscious of all the flavors. Sweet, sour, bitter, salty, and umami. Umami is a real savoriness. It's prevalent in Parmesan cheese, it's prevalent in soy sauce. A little bit of soy sauce in a dish that's not Asian will still help bring that umami out. Then if you're able to balance out all five of those flavors, you're gonna have a great dish regardless if it has meat or not. Our pasta we're doing is a spaghetti with black garlic, smoked chestnuts, and kale. So a little extra virgin olive oil, some shallots, salt, a little bit of pepper. I'm gonna go ahead with a little bit of blanched kale. Also gonna drop in our smoked ch chestnuts. It gives us this ultra meaty quality without there being meat. And our black garlic. I really love black garlic. It's a very unique um, ingredient. It's like a cross between roasted garlic and I think a little bit of anise or licorice. You could definitely substitute roasted garlic. And let it finish cooking in the pan. So it takes on a lot of these flavors of the garlic and the chestnuts and the uh, shallots. And how we do that is by adding just a pinch of some of the pasta water. And you can smell the chestnuts right now. It almost gives us this really bacony quality. And to finish this, we're gonna take a little bit of lemon. What acidity ends up doing is it makes everything taste a little bit more like what it is. And here's our spaghetti with smoked chestnuts, kale, and black garlic. When you cook for people, you're cooking for their enjoyment. When people have dietary needs, they still need to enjoy food too. I'm Dale Taldi. Thanks for watching Star Chef Secrets. Don't forget to subscribe. Watch our chefs wrestle live eels for a dude food style feast of the seven fishes, a traditional Italian Christmas dinner. Sounds fishy. What do you get when you take top chef Spike Mendelson and add YouTube star Lisa Schwartz? A wild drunken night, LA style. Click here to see what went down. Get a taste of this famous Chinese delicacy, the century egg, also known as the thousand year egg. Yum? Question mark? Learn how to make the finest grilled cheese sandwich known to man with award winning chef Eric Greenspan of the Foundry. Now that's delicious. Click subscribe for more free tasted treats.